You know, um, the, the biggest takeaway that I, I had was I saw a lot of parents, a lot of citizens that, that are truly concerned. Um, I saw a lot of people that were offering great suggestions. I always tell everybody when, when we do a town hall meeting, and we do them all over the, the county, uh, it's a great opportunity for not only for me to share with what our agency is doing with the public, but to get feedback from the public. In fact, I always try and walk out the door having learned more than what I went in, and, and tonight was a great opportunity for that. I mean, we had so many uh, parents that were asking good questions questions about how to keep their kids away from drugs, how to keep their kids away from bad associations. We had we had parents offering suggestions about um, stopping different things and everything. So I thought it was a great exchange for everybody on both ends. And you know, I, I say it all the time and it, it's absolutely true. It takes a community to protect a community. Tonight was about protecting the community. Well, you know, one of the things that came up was that the kids, and it was actually, it was very, um, uh, very exciting to see a number of students here tonight. Um, not as much as I'd like to, but there were a number of students here tonight that voiced um, their positions on different things and, and one of the things that they said is there's no outlet to to get that information to to the right authority to the right resource and there actually is crime line has a great program um, not just crime line 1-800-423 tips but crime line has a program that's specifically designed for schools and it's called speak out and it's designed to motivate kids to talk about bullying to talk about drugs to talk about somebody bringing a gun on campus all of these other things and so um, that's one of the things that we're going to go back now and we're going to figure out how do we deliver that information in a better model to the students so that not only are the students aware of it, but their parents are aware of it too. Yeah, social media, um, it, is, it is as great a tool as it is a bad a tool. Um, you know, if your child's on social media, you need to be monitoring what your child's doing. I always tell everybody, if your child won't accept you as a friend on their Facebook page, they don't need a Facebook page. They, they need to have their parents on there. The parents need to have access to it, passwords, everything else, and, and understand that Historically, we had to worry about who our kid hung out with on the playground. Today, we have to worry about who our kid's hanging out with in the computer, in the living room, in the bedroom. And unfortunately, we may not even know who those people are. So it's really changed the dynamics of parenting. It is, it is a tool that kids use to communicate. It is a, a great mechanism for that. We use it um, to communicate. I mean, on our Facebook page alone, we, we reach, uh, in fact, we have over 32,000 likes on our Facebook page. At times, we reach almost a million people a week through that media medium being able to put it out then we have Space Coast Daily puts out everything that we do with our partnership and you know they're reaching another 40,000 people and so the cross-pollination of that information is is vital we put out information about hunting for fugitives we we put out crime tips we put out safety concerns we put out we're looking for a person that robbed a bank we put out all sorts of stuff we even on our Facebook page we use it to brag on our troops our team does an excellent job every day and so we we like to brag on them when they do something that's that's really great we, we put it up on our Facebook page. We're reaching a million people a week. Well, when you look at that volume of information, it's a great tool. But your child could be reaching 2,000 people a week or 5,000 people a week. Is it a great tool for them? And you as a parent have to be the guardian of the gate. You have to be the person that's the gatekeeper that says you're not going to have that person on your Facebook page. That person's posting up things that are inappropriate. And you have to be, as I tell everybody, the parent is the chief law enforcement officer in their child's life. All right, They, they are there with them every moment of the day. They have to be the guardian of the gate. Well, we do town hall meetings all the time. Um, we, we move them around. Um, we, um, I think probably one of the most interesting things we have coming up is we, we created a program called um, It's Time to Be a Parent Again. And we have a huge event coming up on April 26th. It's going to be at the Simpkins Center starting at 6 p.m. Um, April 26th is a Sunday. It's going to start at 6 p.m. at the Simpkins Center at Eastern Florida State College in Cocoa. And it is actually a collection of a lot of different organizations bringing parents to the table. And this Time to Be a Parent Again class is about giving parents the tools they need to hold their kid accountable. And I, I truly believe we live in a society today that robbed parents of the ability to hold their kids accountable. We, we, we live in fear that if we discipline our children, we're going to hear a knock on the door where we're being arrested for, for actually disciplining them. This tells the parents every tool they can. It encourages parents to um, uh, be empowered to steer their kids towards success. So that's going to be a great event. We're expecting several hundred people for it. Um, we bring in the chain gang. We're the only agency in the state of Florida that has a chain gang. Um, that chain gang's a crime prevention tool for me. I bring them in and I let them talk to the parents and the parents ask them any question. You heard parents asking great questions tonight. When that chain gang's sitting there in front of them, they can ask them any question they want about where their life turned to crime. And I'll tell you, when you hear it from the mouth of a criminal that says, I had bad associates, I did drugs, I didn't listen to my parents, there's no harder hitting message.